In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to build the best trips tight, tight end offensive scheme in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about how you can become the best Madden player that you can possibly become. And so if you are looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you right now to hit the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to be able to know whenever we release new videos. Every single day, we release videos that can help you get better on both the offensive side of the ball as well as the defense defensive side of the ball. And in today's video, we are specifically focusing in on the trips tight end offense. Now, in my personal opinion, the trips tight end is probably one of the top several offenses in the game. It, most people would tell you that it's the meta. In fact, this is the offense that J-Wall used to win $150,000 in the Madden Club Championships. And so part of his, uh, obviously part of his success is because he's an amazing player, but it's also not lost on people that the trip tight end is indeed the offense that he used. And so it's obviously very, very effective. Now, in my last video, I was talking with you a little bit about the play curl flat and Today we're going to be talking about the play doubles and sale. And the reason why we're going to talk about this play today, um, if you want to get my complete trips tied in offensive guide, you can literally get it for just $10 and it's in the description. It has video breakdowns, it has written setups, and it has film study analysis to give you the best offense that you could possibly get from it. But the reason that we're going to use doubles and sale today is we are talking about offense in terms of a couple of key things. I'm trying to help you guys and try to honestly to help myself a little bit reframe the way that I think about offense in Madden 21. A lot of people think about it in terms of money plays or glitchy plays or, you know, maybe it's I need to go to this formation. I need to, I need to call, you know, 15 different formations. I need to have several different routes. And what I want to tell you um, is the way that I think um, it is the way that I think we become the most successful is through this saying by Bruce Lee. He says that the height of cultivation will always run to simplicity. It is not the daily increase, but the daily decrease that is essential. And so what I what I think he's getting at there is that the best of the best know how to keep it simple. In fact, there's a a, a statement that it is less but better. They do less, but they do it better. And so in this video, we're talking about the second component to an offensive scheme, which is the counter play. And the reason this is significant is because we want to be intentional about the plays we call. We don't just want to call plays for the sake of calling plays. We want to call plays with a specific purpose. And so if you take a look here, and I'm just going to come out in the play doubles and sale, but I want to show you curl flat first and foremost. So if we take a look, if, if we take a look at curl flat here, what we're going to notice is that we run curl flat like this. Remember, this is a setup we talked about um, in, in the last video. We talked about trips tied in. This was the setup. And basically what happens um, in this is it forces a very specific style of adjustments from your opponent. It might force a court, outside quarter on the left. It might force them, force them to back up their zone drops, right? There's all kinds of things that this can force. But what you'll notice here is, as you can see on this right side, this circle receiver you know, is typically open. But as you can see right there, I dropped them back. So it forces a specific style of zone drop. And so that is with that context that we come to this play doubles in sale. How do we how do we build how do we build an effective counterplay? Well, what we want to ask the question is what you know what part of the field are we really attacking on the right side? Well, the part of field that we're really attacking, and I'm just going to use the defensive players to show this, is we're attacking kind of this area, you know, 40 to 50 yard line. And then on the left side of the field, what we're doing is we're attacking kind of this, you know, little 10-yard area right here. And so what is very probable uh, from our opponent is a defense like this right here. Because remember, the running back on the angle route is going to attack kind of right in here. So what it's very likely that they'll do is they'll just put their little, you know, 5 to 10-yard route over here with Holman. And then they're going to have a yellow zone. And that's it. That's all they're going to do. Um, and so then what's going to happen is they're going to save themselves a player that they can now use on this side of the field to be able to do something like this, right? Something like this right here. 
Okay, and this is this is what this context that we come to today's video. So as you can see, now it's kind of a different style of defense. And so they're with their user, they're going to basically take away you know this this circle receiver. Okay, so this is where devils and sale comes in handy. What we want to do is we want to basically now flood the left side. We've flooded the right side, and now what we want to do is we want to flood the left side effectively. And so devils and sale does just that. So. The play looks like this, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna smart route both corner routes. As you can see right here, we've got a nice little smart routed corner route on both sides of the field. And then on the, uh, on the left side, what we wanna do is we wanna create essentially a flood concept. And so the way that we can do this is we're gonna put the square receiver on a little fade route, and then what we're going to do um, is we are going to be putting the triangle receiver in this example. We're going to put him on a little, uh, like a little zig route. So something just simple like this right here. And this is going to create essentially a flood on the left side. It looks exactly the same as curl flat, but it goes in a completely different direction. In fact, every route goes in pretty much a completely different direction. And so if we snap the ball here, what you're going to see is that this circle receiver um, is is going to get pretty much wide open on the sideline as you saw right there. Now, if for whatever reason we have issues like that, um, that was primarily due to the fact that again, I didn't I didn't get my adjustments set up properly, but basically what we want is something like, you know, essentially this right here. We've got cover three on one side, cover two on the other side. We've got a three rec, and this is kind of what they're gonna approach us with. So if they start approaching us with something like this, whenever we go to doubles and sale, now what's gonna happen is you know basically they're not playing deep and so because they're not playing deep the traditional flood is going to work really really well now something we have to you know kind of prepare ourselves for is indeed a mabel a mabel coverage what what happens when they mabel coverage what, what do we do then um well that's where you know again if you can think about everything that they're likely to do i want you down to look to the right side of the field so if we look to the right side of the field um, and they Mabel coverage you. Uh, basically, this tight end route is going to get wide open. As you can see, the further back they drop their zone drops, the further back they drop their zone drops, which if they're dropping against a specifically against a play like this, you have a fairly good opportunity for that tight end route to get wide open. And the reason why um, is because they can't drop their zones back too far. Um, that tight end corner route is more like a... You know, it's more like maybe a 15-yard type of zone. Um, and because we've got a 20 to 25 to 30-yard uh, zone on that side, that's not going to stop him. But the problem is if they were to go back to like a 15-yard curl flat zone, that's not going to stop the left side. And so one of those two corner routes is going to be successful for you. Now, one thing I do want to hit on just really briefly here is what do we do in a situation like this? So what do we do in a situation where they drop a yellow zone and they drop maybe like a 30 yard, you know, curl flat zone on the left side? Well, that's where you take your whip route. Your whip route, your whip route, your whip route is super, super effective if you take it consistently. If you take it consistently, you will have success with this. If you don't take it consistently, then you're going to actually struggle quite a bit. So that's really what I want you to understand is this little concept right here, it seems so simple and it's because it is. And I want you to appreciate the simplicity of this because if you can appreciate the simplicity of this, you are going to begin to have and really play Madden, in my opinion, a lot differently they will over adjust themselves and basically get themselves into trouble. And the simple things are what's going to win at the end of the day. So thanks for watching this video. Like I said, if you wanna get my entire trip side in offensive guide, it is gonna be available in the description. You can get the entire offense for just $10 and it will literally walk you through step-by-step step how to have an amazing offense in this game. So again, that is the offense that won the $150,000 Madden Challenge. And to be quite honest with you, you could probably count on maybe one, two hands at the most, the amount of plays that Wall ran from this in terms of like unique plays, play designs. When you keep it simple, then you really model this statement that the height of cultivation will always run to simplicity. And so my encouragement to you is to simplify your offense. And a great way to start with that is to use the trips tight end offensive guide. We go into deep detail about this 
simple plays that you need to be very successful. Thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you want to get that offense, it is in the description.